Hey, good day, my people. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we are in a beautiful city, a city that we've been trying forever to get to since landing in Brazil, and that is Salvador. Salvador. We up in the place to be, and we're going to take you guys with us today as we explore the historic center. And it's a whole lot of history in this center, so. And actually, this is our first time exploring the historic center, so you guys are coming along with us, and we're checking out Proper. Uh, some of the rich history from the city. Now, we held off on touring this place because we wanted to bring you with us. This is our first time experiencing any of this. There's a lot to experience. We'll get around to all of that. So you guys are hanging with us. We are kicking it with you. All Let's right. do it. Let's explore. Let's go. We tourists today, y'all. Welcome to the historic neighborhood known as Pelarino, or Pillory in English, or sometimes quite simply Pelo. It was the city's center during the colonizer's period and named after a whipping post stationed in the center plaza. Yeah, right there. Right there where those drummers are. Yeah, this historic center is extremely rich in historical monuments which weren't rich for anyone but the ancestors of the colonizers. This was a slavery market. Yes, this UNESCO World Heritage Site is where Africans were chained, beaten, whipped, and shamed. Every church and every mansion is the fruit of our suffering. But thankfully, it is not the beginning or the end of our story. So, we told you guys this place was historically significant. This is one of the largest and one of the oldest slave reports in Brazil, which means in the New World. I mean, in general, it's one of the oldest cities. So this was the first uh, capital of Brazil. Yeah, yeah, it was the capital of Brazil, and it is the capital of the state of Bahia. Proper. So right now, we're standing at something called Pillory Road. Mm -hmm. Now, this particular road is where they had all the criminals, scallywags, and uh, slaves. They would be cuffed in inside of pillories. And if you don't know what that is, that's when you have your head through a little wooden device yeah, your and your arms over right. there and you hang out on the street all day and the public will come by and pretty much torture you. So this was the area of public shaming way back in slavery times. Uh, Brazil was actually one of the, the last places, right? In the the last in the Americas to, um, to, about to abolish slavery. slavery. So a lot was still going on in the area, but this area, it's been turned into a really vibrant, um, culturally rich area, but a part of that culture is the dark past of it being Hillary Road. There's a lot of shops around this area, lots of different tourist kind of things to get into. And it's just a, it's just an interesting place to be. So I know we have these places in the States, but you don't talk about it. You know what I mean? Like the old plantations where people have weddings and stuff now down in New Orleans. Nobody talks about what it used to be. Bahia, kind of like their Plymouth Rock. Uh, this is the first place that was discovered by the New wor World, uh, the Portuguese. Yeah. And it was the last place to be let go of. This was a lucrative, lucrative, lucrative state. Sugar plantation. Yeah. I mean, this place made them a lot of money. And another fascinating fact about it is that this state is the blackest state in all of Brazil. This city has the most Afro descendants, Afro Brazilians in Brazil. And this is known to be the blackest uh, city outside of Africa in the world. So, right? those are a lot of claims. That's saying something. That's saying something. And I'll tell you something else too that I like about the culture here. Like, we talk about the familiarity of everything. Um, you see a lot of aunties, you see a lot of cousins, you yeah. see a lot of people, and we have kindred spirits. What I don't see a lot of is divisiveness. I see a whole lot of unity in this area. I see a whole lot of unity throughout Brazil. So again, this is yet another place that we were told was you know dangerous, don't go check it out, yada, yada, yada. Tell you something, man, come on down here and visit it, check it out for yourself. This city in particular is worth your time. It's fun to be in, it's safe, it's beautiful. Another thing we didn't tell you was that it was a seaside city. Seaside. Woo! And we're staying over uh, in a neighborhood called Costa Azul, which we'll yeah, tell you about a little later, but we're loving Boy. the seaside, the access to the beach, to the water. It's beautiful. All right. Keep moving, baby. All right. Hey, let us know if y'all know what this drink is. It's like a, it's a lemon juice con coconut, lemon con coconut. Oh man, it's really good, I know that. Thank you, Afro-Brazilian culture. 
still dominates this area heavily. Music, art shops, food, community, all sing a harmonious tune here. And if you listen closely, you can hear Africa. Like normally the Indians does. Okay. But this is a group famous us. The name is Chimbalada. She's going to take his very, very, very big group. See? They're all painted. Ah. Paint. Mm -hmm. Indigenous people. Group, so it's indigenous with the African uh, yeah. uh, mix? Okay, like, okay. Mix. So this artist is the same that did that work there. Okay, okay, okay. Now, is it only women that get the paint on the face and the body? The, the, the group is the whole group. Play, okay. The group that plays men. See. Oh, okay. So this guy brings this for women. Ah. Okay. You know? Okay. 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 Bragado, man. Thank you. All right, y'all. I'm ducking the Geechee, man. I don't know what just happened. She hit me with a bunch of leaves. I said they smell good, and she was like, fifty dollars. I was like, okay, I'll be right back. Ooh, baby. I need to jump in this water, but I want to do <laughs> I it. It cool us down for real. Guys, we wanted to take a quick second to introduce you to a cool little platform that happens to be our sponsor for this part of the video. It's called Buy Me A Coffee. Now, you may have seen this sporadically <laughs> in our videos. Just pop up here and there, something like this. Buy Me A Coffee is a cool little platform that allows creators to be supported by their audience, people who support their crafts, who support their arts, and it gives artists the opportunity to create another stream of income by sharing extras and sharing some behind the scenes with the people who support their work. It has sincerely helped us, and I tell you the honest truth, man. Buy Me A Coffee is the truth. Like, <laughs> when we spend, like, hours on end working on videos that we know does not hit for the broader audience but it touches our core audience our core audience usually lets us know by buying us a coffee mm -hmm. people give generally in five dollar increments which mm -hmm. is buying you a coffee uh, to support whatever cause you have going on and i do want to say thank you to everyone who has supported our channel in every facet and those who have been supporting us on buy me a coffee we truly truly appreciate it because you guys it's, held us down. it's a piece that funds our travels I mean, real talk, we wouldn't be able to bring to you the beautiful cities that we are able to bring to you. It's really a, a, an altered state of mind, a different mind frame from, you know, working that nine to five, like actors, artists, people who get paid off of their creativity. You might, at times, feel like you're walking around with a tin cup in your hand, uh, <laughs> begging for things, you know what I mean? But we don't like sponsors all over, all up in the videos, you know what I mean? <laughs> But this is a sponsor who we really endorse, who we really appreciate, and we want to invite you guys to use Buy Me A Coffee. Uh, we partnered with them, and they're going to offer to tip different people who open their Buy Me A Coffee account through the link below. So if you are a creator, you have something to share with the world, a podcast, you have a blog, a newsletter, something where you're creating value for people, you can use Buy Me A Coffee as a platform where your audience can support you there. Now, we just set up uh, some free downloads for anybody that buys a, us a coffee. Please feel free to go out there. If you have purchased a coffee in the past, go download you different city guides and pictures from our travels and all that kind of good stuff. And we have a new campaign. <laughs> there, and that's because there's a new feature. There's an awesome feature yes, on Buy Me A Coffee yes. called a wish list. We want to take our channel to the next level after we hit 50K. 50K! 50K, which We're is around the there. corner. We have 45,000. We hit 50K. We want to up our level. And to do that, we need to get a new camera and new equipment, and we're funding that via Buy Me A Coffee. So if you want to see this channel, take the next step, and you can't support it, we're not asking you to break yourself. Please feel free to go out to buy us a coffee. We can do this together. <laughs> yeah, feel free to go out to our Buy Me A Coffee site. The link is in the pinned comment here. It's also in the description if you want to check it out as a creator. But if you want to check out our wish list, go over there. There's some items that we're looking to eventually uh, upgrade our equipment for. Eventually. And we appreciate any support we can get with that. So that's what's up. Love is love. Now back to the program. That's a beautiful shop owner, Sueli. So only, only serve the city. Oh. Ne? They oh. Is strong, the people, communities, people, traditionalists. Yeah. So only here. Only, only here. Only here. Do you so. sell online? Yeah. In linear? Um, this means my cards. Eu sou Eli Conceição, eu sou bióloga de formação, né? tenho um doutorado em desenvolvimento e meio ambiente, 
Sou filha de uma mulher lavadeira, neta de lavadeira, uma mulher que é auxiliar de enfermagem e tenho uma filha. E estar tá nesse espaço, nessa loja, é um sonho coletivo, né? que eu também sou de candomblé, eu sou uma sacerdotisa. E com os conhecimentos do candomblé, eu venho trazer para o bem-estar né, de toda a população. Uma forma também de construir uma renda, fazer um, um, negócio, social, um negócio social para fortalecer a economia dos povos e comunidades tradicionais. Que a base dele é azeite de dendê, palmo óleo. Palmo óleo com óleo de amêndoas. Amêndoas. E são, ele você pode usar. Tips for coming to Brazil. Take one. Brazil is huge. There are 26 states here. Don't feel like you've been to one place in Brazil and you've seen it all because it's completely different. Throughout the different states within this country are various different cultures, shades. It is a huge and dynamic melting pot of cultures. It takes a lot of exploring and experience around Brazil to realize just how diverse and vast and cultural this place is. If you come in here, there's a few things you need to understand. First off, and at the top of the list is only 5% of Brazilians speak inglês. All right, so you need to understand some Portuguese, man. So study up on your sim and sim, and you know, uh, what you're gonna learn how to say a whole lot of is abrigado and abrigada for the ladies, you know what I'm saying? Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Abrigado, 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 abrigado. A lot of the ATM machines don't have cash. Now look, there's two fascinating things about this. For one, when you find a group of ATMs, it's literally like 20 ATM machines right next to each other in its own little ATM space. But it's also like whack-a-mole because half of the time, the majority of them will not have money. You need to have cash. Uh, everybody accepts credit and they work off of an uh, electric debit system. But since we are from a different country, uh, we want to use our credit cards and their machines just weren't able to process my particular card. So uh, go to an ATM machine, keep cash on you at all times. And another one, the voltage here is different than the states, you guys. Uh, they use 110 through 225. They use a couple of different uh, sockets, but this is one that they use. Y'all see that? Yep. So you're gonna need an adapter. What you're gonna need is a universal travel adapter regardless. If you are a traveler, you need to have this in your arsenal. A universal travel adapter is gonna do you well uh, because the voltage here again is 110 and 220 or 225 inside of the same household. So come ready. Y'all, it's a beautiful day out here and I hope you guys are having a good day at the house. Uh, we just wanted to reintroduce ourselves. We just gained a lot of subscribers, so... Um, welcome! Welcome to the family, y'all! My name is April. My name is Rondell. And we are the Yarbros. And if you don't know, uh, our modem operandi, our MO, is uh, we're touring the planet, looking for a place to call home. And in the meanwhile, and during our travels, we're making resources and creating paths for people who want to live abroad, too. Proper. It's our passion. We've been told a bunch of lies, and we're trying to dispel those uh, beliefs and make some... A lot and make some inroads for people who want to leave whatever country they're in and establish a life in a new country, we want you to have those resources. So if you're new here, go down to the comments, let us know where you're viewing from. We want to continue to get the inside scoop because the inside scoop is the best scoop and that's what we want to share with you guys. I love that. Um, no falar portuguese. No, no, no. Don't speak portuguese. No, we speak English and a little Spanish. And we're learning. The we're first learning. time here? Yes. Sim, sim, yeah, 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 first time. Like it? Loving it. it, loving it, loving it. <laughs> we love da -da 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 -da. <laughs> <laughs> We're loving it. Hey. Aí, ó, investindo em turismo e amando Salvador. Sim, 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 loving thank it. You. Thank, you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, are you recording a video for your channel or something? YouTube yeah. channel, see, 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 see the Yara Bros. What are you recording for? I'm recording for a TV show a here. TV? Oh, oh, TV! TV Mosaico Baiano. Mosaico. Okay, got it. Okay, Today's all right. Today's about how you spend your money. Oh, ah, okay. So you guys so travel a lot? We spend our money we traveling do. and looking for beautiful places such as Salvador. We found a gym here. Yeah. Uhul, eles investem dinheiro viajando e achando lugares lindos. Eles acharam aqui. 
Obrigado, obrigado, tchau. All right, so somehow we always end up in these little shoots. Uh, um, what were we saying? Uh, Looking for a place to call home. We really enjoy uh, providing resources for you if you are willing, if you want to get up and get out and see the world, we want you to be able to, so we're providing resources to do that. Exactly. Roadmaps, y'all. Making it happen. Let's go. Seaside City, but what you can see down here in Historic Centro is the break off between the upper and the lower levels. It's just interesting that you can watch out and see the whole ocean from here. Uh, this city has several fortresses and forts set up all around it. It's just tranquil, y'all. Tranquil, baby. The whole vibe. Another place in the historic centro of Salvador is this historic elevator right here. It's called Elevator La Cerdo. This elevator connects the upper part of the city, which is the historic district, to the lower commercial area. So we're gonna take this elevator down to the lower part of the city. Um, you guys, you don't know like how drastic the topography is here. Salvador was a fort, right? So it was built on a very high, a very high hill. So that's why we have like the space between the upper part of the city and the lower part of the city. So we're gonna check out what the lower part of the city is like, or at least how to get to it. Tourists for a day, y'all. I said we're tourists for a day. Tourists for a day, y'all. We're tourists for a day. Bye. Just off of the Lacerdo elevator is another tourist attraction because of its proximity. It is the Mercado Modelo, which is this huge yellow building behind me. It is the place of commerce and the place to get your artisan goods, your souvenirs, your craft goods, handicrafts, all of that. This is the place for that in Salvador. Let's go check it out. Oh yeah, Modelo Market has AC, so uh, you might want to find this as soon as you get here. So it's stupid. This is the stuff that attracts me. This, I don't know why I have no use for it at all, but this is what I'm drawn to. All the stuff in here, this, hooks. <laughs> So again, if you guys know anybody here in Salvador uh, uh, that can help us put together a dope documentary. Abrigado, bro. Okay. No, sim, sim, sim. No, no mafia. Okay, okay. My name is Paulo. Paulo, my name is Rondel. Nah. Si, 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 si. Nice you you right? from Salvador? Salvador, yeah. Okay. Salvador. You talk to my audience, man. It's your name, what's your name? Yeah, my name is Paulo. Nice to meet you. Me para con vos. Esperamos, boys. Aquí en Salvador. Mm. All right. Un lugar mejor del mundo. De Brasil, aquí. Hey, voy. Salvador, long time? Yes. Pero que me gusta Salvador? Me gusta, pero que yo muera en el río. Oh, okay. Hay de río en Paragua. And then you came I, to Salvador? Yes, go to Salvador. Okay. okay. Pero que estoy acá con mi mule ¿Sí? y mi tres. Niñas, sim, sim, sim. Y no, no necesito efectivo. Necesito que a base de cohesión, sí. a base de los ojos, que ayudaste para pegar dos mamitas para que pasemos, comida para comer sí. que no okay. ah, okay. Okay. Cuál? la iglesia, sí. yo mi casa, okay. eh, dos por la iglesia. Are you up? Yeah, no. Oh no, right over there. Okay. Yes. Okay, okay. 
Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. You got used to swimming trunks? <laughs> Do you swim? Do you swim? Yeah. Uh, yeah? Get, get your bug off. <laughs> <laughs> turn this off. Hey, thank you all for joining us on this tour through Salvador. You guys, this is our first video about Salvador, and there are a lot more stories we're gonna bring you guys from the city. It's layers to this, and this was the first one. It gets deeper and deeper. And if you guys are new to the channel, my name is April. My name is Rondell. Thank you for hanging out to the end of the video. And we'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.